Hello folks, it's I Deadpool 917 back again for another episode of Magic 2014 Randoms. Uh, today we're going to just try and do some normal constructed play. Maybe if we can't find one, we'll try and do one two-headed giant game. Because I'm actually trying to get a new video codec to see if it will actually work. So hopefully I get better quality out of this and I get better memory. Well, not memory. Better size on the video because my previous codec was taking at least 20 gigs for a half hour video. So let's go into custom match and look for a free for all. So let's see Velcro. Let's see if we can join Velcro. Hmm. And now I've hopefully fin fixed that issue we had on Magic Sundays where the top half where Bobby was playing was kind of cropped and you couldn't see what cards he was playing. Because apparently Magic 2014 taught in all its wisdom to reset, okay that's not working, to reset its freaking resolution to 10 1024 by 768 instead of this, the, what I had it set to which was 1280 by 720. So I can actually record properly. I don't know why. Because I still get good rate. And here we go. So Ragoha92. Alright. So today we're going to go with Avacyn's Glory. To start off with. Because as we all know. It's my favourite deck in this game. And um, let's see. Is he going to start up? Hopefully. There we go. Hmm, nice picture of a predatory sliver. Very nice. Okay, we get to play first, and wow, that's actually a really good hand. Yeah, we're gonna keep this, and we're gonna put down a planes and play a doom traveler. Then next turn we'll put down a trade and valiant. And then after that, if they put keep that for something big, and we'll put Italia. All right, so there's green man in this deck, so could be any of seven, several this situations could be the sliver hive it could be a mono green deck we really don't know so let's skip the attack because i want to keep him for blocking so i can just make a quick spirit okay i believe this is the sliver hive deck because this lets him search for land and yeah so he searched for a green line and what's he gonna he doesn't have anything to play for one mana do we draw another line we do indeed and now we shall get got talia guardian trave in there uh not wait, not guardian is, is it guardian yeah guardian of traven and then we shall continue so anything that's not creature based that he tries to cast will cost him one more so we'll just swing in with our valiant swing in for two and he'll go down to 18, we're still on 20. And we still got Blocker here that has first strike, so if he brings out something small and he tries to hit us, boom, we have something with haste to block it. No, not with haste, uh, first strike. It means we won't lose our creature. Okay, he's contemplating. Okay, this isn't Slivers. Okay, that needs, that needs to be part of Exiled. I know we're take. I know it costs us two mana now to do that, but that needs to be exiled. We're now we're giving him an extra. For, yeah, this is a mono green deck he's playing then, and we'll put. We we'll use the last of our mana to put it with Celtus Cather, and then we will swing for three to bring him down to fifteen. Need to keep her for blocking since she has the first strike. To be honest, I hit at this moment hit and another clutch troll. Okay. Hmm. I still got two more mana. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna use something like a rancor or something on it? No. Alright, we got that. It's gonna cost us one. So you do one and then three. Next, so what's his cost? One and one. So 
We cast him for one. And then we sack him. If he blocks that, we don't need to worry because it will kill that. He'll probably, yeah, he's going to block the Doom Traveler. If he blocks something. Is he going to block? No, he's blocking that. Oh, uh, no, he's got a card to play. He's going to regenerate it. Yeah, I forgot. That card has regeneration. Ah, uh, it was a smart move. It was a smart move. And he's most likely going to hit him for four this turn. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep pumping him up. So that then we can pump them all prey upon. Yeah, he's getting rid of Micaeus. That was a smart move. And a wait, Fanghorn, Fangren Firstborn. What? Oh, what, he has to attack for that. Where? And he's he's holding off on that because I got that first strike creature. And I don't have enough mana to play anything, so. We'll just have to skip the turn. Ooh, he's playing smart now. Has this guy just got like a full foil deck or something? I wish I had my mono white full black. With my mono white full foil. Uh, it doesn't matter what we block. We're still going to take five damage, so. I'll block him. I should have actually blocked it with Talia as well because the first strike would have killed it. Still don't have any mana to play anything. He's got a 6 6 blocker. Ugh. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, he's got us on the ropes for this one. Wow, he came back pretty good. Elephant Guide. Oh, sweet Jesus. Well, we'll just throw our stuff under the bus. And take six instead of... God knows that much. Like, that's enough to kill us anyway. <laughs> uh, needs, yeah, he's got us. Yep, he's actually got us pretty good. Oh my god, he's just going for the overkill here. Go for it. Oh my god, that is... Minus 56. Dear God. That is just overkill to the max. Alright, let's see if we can find a two-headed giant match. Hmm. Alright, well, we've got one opponent. He's obviously got a private setup for his buddy. And another person. We just need another person then. Still gonna stick with the Avacyn's Glory deck. Just because... Because I know how to work. I know how to work with that deck. So hopefully we actually get the two extra people, and then we can just get this one done, nipped in the bud. Hmm. I'll just take a sip of my drink. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't see this happening. So, let's just quit out and search for another free-for-all. I just realized, the date of this recording, it 
it is Friday, so it could technically be counted as Friday magic. I would say Friday night magic if I was recording this at night time, but nah. I've been up since fucking 9 a.m. Fucking GMT. Ugh. So, so painful to be up this early in the morning. So, are we actually gonna find a game here? Come on. Jeez, I've never seen it. Actually, just look on this one loading screen. Shouldn't be this hard. Connection failed. Then we'll just go search for another match. There we go. There's just like loads of commas. Okay, so still gonna go Avison's Glory. So hopefully this person starts up quick so we can get this one in the board. I've noticed something recently with players on multiplayer of this game. They seem to be very slow at starting games. I don't know if it's a latency issue or it's just them not giving a shit. I honestly don't know. Oh, here we go. Alright, so let's, let's take a look at our opening hand. Oh uh, yeah, this is a, it's a latency issue. So, we can cast a Grand Abolisher. A Talia and a Gathered Townsfolk, that's not bad. And a Hell Burial, so basically we've got mass removal. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. We can't play anything on turn 1, but next turn we'll play Grand Abolisher. And then at the turn after that we'll play Gathered Townsfolk, then we'll play Talia. Alright, so we draw another land, and now we play Grand Abolisher. Okay, so Blue Mana, so this could this could be the Phantasmal deck again, or it could be the Demir deck. We'll just have to see. If it's another blue that comes out, then it could be strong chance that it's the Phantasmal deck. Oh no, no! So I was right, it's the Demir deck. Okay. It's a 1 1 with flying, and when it does. When it, does, when it dies, it gets a, you get to draw a car. Okay. So next we'll play Gather the Townsfolk. Get two 1-1 one, one human tokens out. And then we will swing him for two. He'll probably block it with a fairy so he can draw a card. Is that what he's going to do? Yep, he's blocking it with the fairy. The fairy will die and he'll get a card. Why is he getting the main choices? He already gets a draw card. I mean, even if he brings something out that's ground based, we still got two 1-1 one, one blockers. Next turn we'll have Talia out. Ravenous Rats. Wait, what's it do? I can't get the read it. Oh, Jesus. It's probably going to make me discard card. Yeah, it's going to make me a discard card, isn't it? Yeah, I've got to choose a card to discard. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Talia because it's another creature. I don't want to get rid of the O-Ring in case he brings something big out. Uh, we'll get rid of the Mass Removal. We'll get rid of the Hell Burial. Because that Devout Invocation is going to be good later on. So now we can bring a Talia. Granted, that, that's now going to cost us 8 mana to cast, and that's going to cost us 4 mana, but it's well worth it. So we'll swing him for 4, he'll probably block the 2, and 2 will go through. No, he's blocked the 1 and let 3 go through. Might as well just kill one of my human tokens. That's what they're there for. They're there is cannon fodder, really. Alright, another island. And we got the first, another flyer. Which way? Hang on. Beginning of your okay, you lose one life. Ah, so the beginning of her, the player, that player's upkeep, he'll have to lose a life. So we're going to O-ring it anyway. 
so that we can just swing in cheap for five this turn. So we all ring that because we can't have him having that flyer out there. Because <laughs> I've got nothing to block that at the moment until we get up to eight mana, and then we can play the devout invocation and get some angels. So now he's down to twelve. We're still on twenty. And another island. What's he gonna play this time? This is the Demir deck, so it's probably gonna be something sneaky. Uh, is that a Demir Gil Mage? It is. It's a Demir Gil Gage. G Gil Mage. Wait. Revealed card. This is what he has in his hand. So he's got an island, three swarms, and a lobotomy. Ooh. What's that guild mage get to do? Tree tree and blue, draw a card. Tree and black, discards a card. And there goes one of his islands. I'm gonna attack him with Talia because it's got first trick, so if he blocks it, it's gonna be a sad decision for him. What he's going to probably do is use the tree in black to make me discard my devout invocation this turn. Which if he does, that's just a dick move. Yeah, that's what he's most likely going to do. He's going to put down a... Is he going to put play something? Yeah, he's playing the bottom so... He's going to play the bottom on me to reveal my hand. I... And my devout invocation's been exiled. Thank you, dickhead. That was my only saving grace. That, that card was my only saving grace. And look at that. We got seven mana. We were almost there. We were close to getting the mana we needed. So we'll just swing in with the first strike again. Keep the grand, grand abolisher for blocking. Because now that we have a first striker, he's not going to risk attacking with that 2-2. Two, two. He's got 7 mana as well now. And now we got another sprite out. Is it? Oh, he's got 3 creatures on the board. So is he going to risk swinging with the guild match? No. Nope. Where were you at the beginning of the game? Ah, we'll put him out anyway. Hopefully we can draw into another human. Okay. I was... Blocking the 1 1 with the 2 2 because he doesn't want to lose the 2 2. So he's going to lose two creatures and still have his guild mage out. I still get to keep Kataya. Alright, he's down to 8. Alright, if he tries to attack this turn, I'm not. I'm just going to let it go through. Unless he has something big. Oh, he's using the Demir Guild Gate to draw a card. Is he? Yeah, he's using it to draw a card. And we got another Moroi. Oh. So he's got a 4-4 four, four floor now. Hmm, what's he going to do? Yeah, he's swinging in for the 2. I'm just going to let the 2 go through. Because at the beginning of every one of his upkeeps, he's going to have to pay one life to keep that out. So if I draw into something good, I can do some good something good here. And we draw into a path to exile. So I'm gonna exile that. So boom. No more I'd rather have it off the field instead of having it, you know there only doing one damage to it. So where I can get more damage in if it's gone. So he's, I'm on 18, he's down to 6. We need to draw into another human card so we can bump up our champion. 
And if only there was a card in Mono White deck that gave gave the enchanted creature first strike. Alright, so he's using a divination to draw two cards. And a last gasp. No, I tell you. Bastard. Ah, evil bastard. We really need we have to draw into another human this turn then. We have to. Because we need to still keep prodding for two. Oh, we draw it into a fiend hunter. Hells yeah. So he'll go to 2-2. Two, two, and then we can exile this mother motherfucker. <laughs> so he's gone. He's a 2-2 two, two now. And now we can, we can hit unanswered. Now we can hit him for two unanswered. He's down to four and we're still on 18. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna play another creature? Is... Yep. What is it? Uh, two tree with flying. When it enters the battlefield, return a blue or black creature you control to its owner's hand. Can't do that because that's exiled. Unless does that negate the exile rule? Because this card exiles the card. Nah. Ha! So wait, he just used it to return it back to his hand. Where is the logic in that? Like, where is actually the f the bloody logic in that? Like, he just used it to bring to put that cr creature back into his hand. Ah, because we drew into a path. I see. Granted, he wouldn't have known that we drew into a path, but oh. still a smart move. And now he's down to two. So unless he pulls it a magic he pulls some magic trickery out of his hat and so not an island. No, he's not got anything, I think. He's got five cards though. Alright, so we play that, it will bump him up to a tree tree, and then we'll sack that to bring him up to a four four. And we'll just go for the overkill. Attack with all, so heck, even if he gets disengaged, we can still hit him for two and win the game. Oh, minus four, we win. And there we go, first win of the week. Well, the first win in the video, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I said we. Alright, so let's find one more game. Hopefully, let's see if we can actually find a two headed joint this time. We have, but we need one more player. And our teammate is playing Masks of Demir. Alright, so we have four players now. So, I'm still going to be playing the Avacyn's Glory. My partner's playing the Master of the Mirror, the deck that we just finished defeating. And we'll just have to see what the other team is playing. If they decide to ready up. Either that or they're deciding which decks to use. Nope. Connection to the host has been lost. Of course. Alright, let's try it again. Connection fail, try again. No games found. Alright, we'll just go for one more free for all then for today. Okay, we haven't played against this. I thought for a second we did. So let's just do this. Alright, so uh, let's look at our opening. We can actually play all this, so yeah, we'll keep it. Now that he's playing first, he's probably playing an aggro deck. Hopefully. Okay, red. There's red in this deck. Yep, this is mono red. Grim Lava Mancer. Hmm. I'm not going to put him out yet because probably have some cheap burn technique to get rid of him. It's 
It's a good thing that we have that tribe and doom sir in our hand because if we draw into a champion, we can make we can make so many tokens as long as we keep the doom sir alive. Go ahead, here's for one. All right, so we get on the planes and we will put out a grand abolisher to stop him from playing any spells on our turn. Wait, what's that get to do to target creature or player? Well, it won't do anything if he doesn't have a creature in the in his graveyard. He's probably got something like a shock or something in his hand to get rid of it. A flame slash. Yeah. I don't know why you'd waste the thing that was supposed to do four damage on only a two a two strength and toughness creature. That's kind of a boo boo. Alright, so put a trim valiant and a Celtus Cassar. So we have two creatures on the board. Next turn, we'll put one of those out and we'll get a mentor and a meek out. We we'll won't keep the trade and doom there until we have a champion in our hand. What I think I might actually do is I might, if he taps out his turn, yeah, and if they're still alive, I might sack him to play to bring him up. Okay, so he's ta he's tapped out. He's got haste. Wait, is it sliver? Sli oh, slit firewalker. Oh, it's got haste. So we're gonna block that with the cast here. So we can't have that getting pumped up. Um, we will play the mentor and a meek now instead. The two two, where if another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under our control, we can pay one and draw a card. So we'll attack with that. He'll probably block with his grim lava mancer. No, he's gonna let the two go through. Okay, so there's another land out. Flames of the Firebrand. And he gets to divide that up in any way he sees fit. He's only hit my creatures. Okay. He could have used some of it to hit me, but... He's tapped out now. Can't do anything. We drew him into an increasing devotion, which is pretty good. And we could play that. But that would tap out all our mana. It's not like we have anything to respond with, so let's put out an increasing devotion. To get some ch chump blockers out. Next turn, hopefully, if we get a champion, we'll have the two domes there and the champion now. One tree with flying. Hmm. Dick move, dick move. Bye bye. <laughs> Wait, a four two of flying. Shit. Time that move wrong. Ah oh, hell, put him out. We're probably gonna lose this match anyway, but <sighs> Hmm, what 
what's he planning? Oh, he's on a pillar of flame, not to exile it. And he swings in for the four. Bringing us down to 13. <laughs> How did we draw into this? Now, as long as it can stay alive. Until we can get out another creature. We can have it get X proof and indestructible. So, a flying. 5 3 with hex proof and indestructible. It's so beautiful. So, hopefully, we draw into another human. And we're not going to block. We'll let the 4 go through. Now, I've only had pro creatures as well. Now, we drew into a plants. We'll have to swing for 5 this turn. So, I'm not. Losing this without doing significant damage. <laughs> we need to get him below four, ten, anyway. So I'm not, I'm not losing this match before we get him down to at least below f ten life. Uh, what you gotta do? <coughs> Oop, voice changed there a bit. <laughs> It's got to sweep for four again, bring us down to five. And pray God that we... Oh, he's playing Magma Phoenix. What? No, here human! Aha! Flying with hex proof and indestructible bitch. Let's see you try and block that. Well, he's gonna finish me off this turn anyway. But we got him below ten life. Yep. He won this one. So, we went 1 and 2 today. At least I'm getting better. Alright, so... That finishes this week's installment of Magic Randoms. Stay tuned for the next part. I've been Deadpool 917. Thank you and goodbye.